make me sick. What the hell are you doing? Making sure that filth never sees the light of day. Well, what do you got against the girls of the Pac-10? The girls of the Pac-10? Yeah. The one with the nude pictures of you went out yesterday. Yesterday? Are you sure? Were you buck naked on a red, white, and blue Harley? Oh, crap. I am the wild blue yonder, the front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we formed the yin to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the tick. Grande drip. Oh, God. What is it, chum? Realize the vastness of the universe? That's her. Her? Her who? Do we need to jump into action? No, no, we're not jumping into anything. It's Stacy Waxman. The Waxman burning his fiendish candle at both hands. No, Stacy Waxman, a girl I went to high school with. Oh, no. Arthur? Stacy? Stacy Waxman? I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. The ears, the suit, it's like you're a different person. Yeah, let me explain. You look great. I feel great. <clears throat> uh, Stacy, this is the tick. Oh, Stacy Waxman, I went to high school with your partner. Yes, you did, and not a moment too soon. Nobody told me you were a superhero. Yeah, I keep meaning to send it into the alumni bulletin, but it's been nuts. We have to catch up. Do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Very badly, but I'll need to change. change. Don't you dare. You want me to wear this? Definitely. Dinner with a superhero. Who wouldn't want to be me tonight? Well, Zordox, for one, Kid Psycho, uh, the a-hole. Eyebrows mulligan, boils brown, and of course, uh, zipper neck. Stacy Waxman is big, very, very big. Uh, forgive me, Arthur, but I found her proportions to be rather normal. When does she grow to these uh, gargantuan dimensions? Is it when she's uh, angry or attacked or confused? Herein, you see the power of the suit. Women cannot resist the suit. Men cannot resist the suit. Dogs. Yeah, I get it. So you think she's only talking to me because of the suit? I am only talking to you because of the suit. Damn it, of course. What was I thinking? Stacy Waxman and me. Why else would she like me? The only time she talked to me in four years was when I got hit by a car. By her, her car. I threw up, I was so happy. Use the suit. Bask in the suit. Only make sure you never take off the suit. It has a fly, no? No. You know, once the government sees those photos, I'm gonna be Captain Syria. What's the problem? Don't they like bosoms in Syria? That's not the point, Batman. Well, unlike you, I don't just fight crime. I am employed by the United States government to be a symbol of all that is good and right. Now, they were mad enough when I went into detox, and they're sure as hell not gonna love this. Hey, you! Get off that! Wonder Woman was right. You know, this is what happens when you date Europeans. One night, he's like, oh, just a couple of pictures from my private collection. Tch, private, my rear admiral. Janet. The, the pictures, is that what's really bothering you? No, I saw them and they're great. What's the problem? I don't look like that anymore. I said get off! Stop it! Anyway, they haven't hit the stands yet, so I... And there's still hope. I will help you. Uh, don't bother. Hush. But my well understands the fallen honor of a woman. You do? Somewhat. And together we shall see that no eyes lay rest on your national monuments. Wiener? No. Do you want me to come down there? Okay, fine, fine. You can pick me up at 10, and don't be late. If she's only interested in the suit, then I feel dishonest wearing the suit at all. Arthur, if I may ask a delicate question, how long has it been since you last? Long enough. Then, my friend, wear the suit. Wear two suits. It's all so exciting. When do we pick her up, Arthur? We? Okay, Tick. Wish me luck. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't wait up. I won't. Where are you off to? Oh, pick up Stacy, of course, silly. It's gonna be a whale of a time. Ahoy, matey! Uh, Tick, I'm taking out Stacy. Of course. Let's not keep her waiting. She'll only perspire and alarm the neighborhood cats. No, Tick, I don't think you understand. 
Stacy is my date. So of course, my as in we. My we. My we? Yes, don't forget, we are a duo. Okay, let's start there. When we fight crime, we're a duo. Uh, when we buy slacks, also a duo. Bobsled competition, duo. We don't bobsled enough. But when I have a date with a girl, no duo. <sighs> Trio. Dick, what I'm asking you to do, what I need you to do is to please let me go out with Stacy by myself. Go. Temporarily. Out. By myself. Go. So I can be with someone else. Go. Dick, I've been giving this a lot of thought and I think you're ready. Here. It's the key to our apartment. <gasps> Arthur, I haven't gotten you anything. Wait. For you, friend. Keep the key. So look at you. I mean, wow, you're a celebrity. Mm, not to the bad guys. Was the decision hard to start wearing the cowl? Um, that's a good question. When you have a call. Where did you get the inspiration to be the rabbit? Oh, I'm actually a moth. Fascinating. Oh, no, I just remembered something. Senior year, didn't I get drunk and drag you into the shower with me? No. That is one hot superhero uniform. It sure is. Don't. But it's our destiny. Watch the road. You didn't have to do this. Janet, when you feel pain, but Manuel feels pain. Right now, I'm feeling the pain of bursitis. Do you have anything for that? Okay, give me the truth. Why are you here? But Manuel is a jealous sex lover. If he cannot see you naked, then nobody can. Wow. I don't know if that's romantic or just extra creepy. Joe Alomar's a podiatrist. That's insane. I know, it's brilliant. Uh, I'm really glad we went out tonight. Me too. I'd like to see you again, if, if that's okay. That'd be great. <laughs> Arthur. Yeah? This is your apartment. Oh, so it is. <laughs> Guess that means I can still go for the kiss. A kiss from a superhero? We can start there. Wow. Where are you going? But Manuel has finished the big gold. Now he must water the bushes. Ew. Just a second. It's a truck. Give me the keys. I said, Uncle Pablo. Ah. Oh. I have a confession. I've never been with a superhero before. Is that a turn off? I think I can overlook it. Tick. He enters, spelling the mass of oak with nary a timber and bowels with a new respect to his little ally, the incredible Mr. Schlag. Dick, you remember Stacy? Oh, of course. Yes, I heard tell that Arthur was such a horse's patootie in high school that you wouldn't give him the time of day, you time hoarding wench. Excuse me? Dick, can I have a word with you now, please, in my bedroom, please? Right now. Excuse us. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Get out! Out! Why? Why? Because I think Stacy Waxman wants to sleep with me. Really? She seems wide awake. Tick, you know what I mean. Do it. We're all doing it, John. That's what we do. We do it. Do what? Therein lies the mystery. Tick, I mean, have sex. <sighs> Sex. Well, that sounds familiar. 
No, actually, it doesn't. Don't talk to me. Janet. Thanks to you, my picture's gonna be on every dorm room in the country. Well done. I say let tomorrow's white-collar criminal stare well into the teats of justice. I take it you didn't stop the truck. If by stopping the truck you mean watching Batman well irrigate the local flora with his Mountain Dew, then yeah, we stopped the truck. Bravo! Arthur, uh, was uh, last night the success? Almost. Almost? I don't know, there's not understand almost. <laughs> Me neither. Almost means, thanks to the tick, she went home annoyed at 10 p.m. 10.04, chum. Remember, I was playing shout out the time. Actually, it was kind of a relief. This costume is giving our expectations. I'm pretty sure will not be forthcoming. Once again, I cannot relate. <laughs> oh, wonderful story. You really don't get it, do you? Oh, don't you worry. I get it. And how? You understand what I'm trying to do with Stacy? Completely. Because it seemed like the other night you didn't understand. Je comprends, mon frère. Je comprends. Well then. Indulge me, Tick. Explain it to me. Tell me what I'm trying to do. You want to fight crime with her behind my back. Uh, I am seeing Stacy tonight alone. And please, let me get to the laundromat. I haven't taken this suit off in a week, and it's starting to smell like a giant sock. You already have a date, and not just for coffee and a donut. A prom date with the town's prettiest gal, the penal code. Me. Look at these pictures. Just look at them. Don't look at them. Hello? No, I... Ugh! I take it you don't have Prince Albert in a can. That was the government. I have been summoned to a disciplinary hearing. I'm impressed. I didn't know that Pentagon read peekaboo. What does she have that I don't? I don't have time for this. Oh, it's my fault. I underestimated the fiendish charm of the wax man, and now Arthur is ensconced in its waxy, wax-like waxiness of her wax. Janet, may I have a word with you? Yeah. Waxy, wax, wax, wax. Tick, you don't by any chance have a super hearing. What? Never mind. Is he serious? If it's weird and attend, then the answer is yes. Well, what are we going to do? We have to explain things to him. Ugh. <laughs> Janet. Dick, sometimes when a man person and his lady friend Blah, 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 tick, blah, 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 wine and cheese, blah, 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 love, blah, 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 babies. Blah, 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 condom, blah, 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 call girl, blah, 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 paternity shoot, blah, 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 excellent lawyer. Uh... <sighs> Is that clear to you now? Is what clear to who, when? Trailblazers, I salute your brazen colonizing of the street corner frontier for the purpose of stalking the rampaging Buffalo of Eve. You looking for action? You smell my musk. The tick is always looking for action on the streets, in the alleys, on the rooftops. And you want him? Already he's exhausting me. Captain Liberty, are you aware of the seriousness of the charges against you? Yes, sir. As the symbol of everything that is good and decent in this great nation of ours to appear naked wearing only thigh-high motorcycle uh, boots. Let the record show they're go-go boots. Whatever. Liberty, before we decide whether or not to court-martial you, is there anything you'd like to see on your behalf? Yes, sir. I believe the man that took those pictures was a spy. General. <sighs> If it pleases the court. Who the hell are you? I am Bad Manuel. Make it fast. Bad Manuel never makes it fast. That is, unless the husband is in 
you know. Anyway. General, your national anthem, is it not America the Beautiful? No. That might be a mistake, but it's not for Bat Manuel to judge. What are you doing here? Would you not agree that as the embodiment of America's commitment to truth, that Captain Liberty herself is subject to the Freedom of Information Act? Objection. Overruled. Thank you. You say it's a disgrace to this country that its symbol can be seen in the flesh. But is she not also the symbol of an open society that is the envy of every nation on Earth? And therefore, as that very symbol, I ask you, would it be appropriate for Captain Liberty to be photographed in anything less than the nude? In fact, isn't it an insult that she's not naked right now? That's enough. The court will now deliberate. I think that's obvious. Or maybe not. Every time I see her, I feel like I'm putting on a toupee, but not a normal toupee, a full body toupee. <laughs> I'm not the moth, I'm the toupee. Oh my god, I don't believe it. I do not believe it! Your suit is still wet. I give you extra quarter. You know what? I'm not even the toupee. I'm the comb over, the human comb over. Quick, zip me up. Arthur? Stacy. So what will you do if they decide against you? Oh, probably work the auto show circuit. A wise choice. Mm. But in your haste, don't forget boat shows. Help me. Help me understand what Arthur's thinking, what Arthur's feeling. Janet, you don't by chance have any hand puppets, do you? This is so funny running into you here. I know, it's hilarious. Well, how about a hug? Oh, you don't want a hug. Arthur, are you sweating? A little bit. <laughs> You're so funny. Now, how about that hug? Stacy, I can't hug you. Why? Because my suit is sopping wet, but that's not the reason. The real reason is that you don't want to hug me at all. All you want to do is hug the suit. But if you want me, you have to want the man inside the suit. Arthur, I do want the man inside. You do? You mean, you don't care about the suit? I like the suit, it's hot, but did you think I was that superficial? I am. <laughs> so what do you say we finish what we started the other night? With or without the blue guy, because he creeps me out. Without, totally without. I... <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's... Sorry. Dick, I don't know how else to say it. It's about love. It's about trust. It's about intimacy. Men and women do things, dirty things, nice things. They touch, they feel. Men have stuff. Women have stuff. They... I don't know how that... This poor fella's got bosoms. <laughs> Maybe we should take a break. <laughs> Again. He stalks the night streets, his mind racing around a single track with no finish line in sight. What is it? Is Arthur doing it? Is it doing Arthur? What does it want? The praying mantis has perhaps the most vicious habits in the entire insect kingdom. Here Tell me more. Mantis begin the process of coupling with her mate. Once the coupling is complete, the female partner consumes her mate. Oh, Lordy. The wax man is about to strike. I must save Arthur. Ready? Ready. Am I a stud or what? <laughs> I'll be right back.
I'm too late. You've eaten Arthur. What? Consume my little chum. You waxed him. Spit him out. Spit him out. Jake, what are you doing? Hey, quiet, buddy. Can't you see I'm grieving here? Arthur! I'm Arthur. Shut up. Ugh. I can't take this. Hey, I'll call you. We'll have fun. Well, thank you very much. Don't thank me. I failed. You certainly did. All I wanted to do was save my little chum. Yeah? Well, you didn't. <laughs> it's you. You're alive. Oh. This is what happens when you take off the suit. I begged you, wear the suit. Embrace the suit. They dropped the charges. Hey, that's fantastic. Do you want me to kick your behinds? Thank you, that Noel. I owe you. Well, there's only one way to repay me. That was not it. Hey, did you patch things up with that girl? Stacy, I think so. Taking her out to dinner tonight. Great. When do we pick her up? Spit him out! Hey, quiet, buddy. Can't you see I'm grieving? Arthur! Shut up! Hey, Noah! Hey, little chum! Mm -hmm.